Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, first of all, apologies for the sound quality yesterday. Um, my video recording software claimed it was using my microphone, but it clearly wasn't when uh, I heard the sound quality. It was just using the built-in microphone in the PC. Now, something has happened to the video recording software. Um, for a few days, it's been claiming that I've tried to install sound enhancing software, which I haven't. Uh, I found a program and deleted that. And since then, it's been even odder doing things like it did yesterday. Today, it is saying it's using the mic. Uh, I've given it a test. I think it is. So hopefully the sound quality is good. What I didn't want to do yesterday is junk the whole video because that would have been very unfair to Xeon Risk. So I put it up. Thank you for bearing with the sound quality. I did put a note in the description. But it was disappointing, and I hope it won't happen again, although I can't guarantee it, because the combination of video software, new PC, and my microphone somehow is just not brilliant at the moment. So I will keep trying to monitor it and make it okay. I also have to apologize to Xeon Risk for not spotting a possibility of uh, two sixes on... Um, on an arrow yesterday. I don't think it, um, well, it wasn't the right option. So luckily it didn't affect myself, but it was still a mental error by myself. They happen all the time because my brain is not perfect. Um, now do check out Patreon where uh, Peter C. Hayward's brilliant hunt, a Sudoku hunt this is, we've built it as, is still ongoing um, until the 20th. It is very interesting, I think. Um, and also Simon's video short on Wordle, which is taking off like crazy on Twitter and all over the internet. Um, and Simon explains a good way to, to be good at the game there. So worth having a look at that. Also, of course, we've got all our apps, the Sudoku pad and merchandise and all the other content on Patreon as well. So check it all out. Now, something people occasionally recommend to us is that we should be on TikTok as well. Um, but this is as close as we're going to get in the near future. This is a puzzle called Tick Tock by uh, Frostini, also known as Mark Sweep. And Simon spotted this on Logic Mouse's Germany, recommended it for me to do on a video, uh, I think. And that's what's going to happen today. Subject to the sound being all right, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so what do we have here? Normal Sudoku rules apply. Um, in cages, digits must sum to the small clue in the top left corner of the cage. Digits cannot repeat within a cage. And digits along an arrow must sum to the digit in that arrow circle. So absolutely regular um, killer and arrow Sudoku there. And look at this. Look at the, the reason it's TikTok is we are given a clock face basically here. We've got a nice round clock face going on. There's the outside of it. Um, we've got three, six, nine, and 12 at the appropriate positions. And we've even got um, a central nub and some hands coming out of that. So I suppose it is either 10 past eight or 20 to three or something like that. But uh, that the time doesn't matter. The construction of this puzzle is, I mean, that's beautiful looking. If this solves well, and frankly, Frostini always does, then it's going to be epic. Do give it a try on the link under the video. And I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. Now, yeah, some of these cages don't have sums. So they're only going to be useful at the end. A 20 cage. Okay, this is going to be about, yeah, this, this digit is on an arrow. But it's also in the 20 cage, I think. So the smallest digit you could have in a 20 cage is a 3. But there's a 3 in the box, so this one doesn't have a 3 in. So the smallest digit this could be is a 4. So I think it has to be 4, 5, or 6. The reason I'm not going above 6 is these two have to add up to at least 3, because 1 and 2 are the smallest different digits. And that will make this one, well, already we've got it up to four plus two and one as a minimum. So this is seven, eight, or nine. 
Now, is this effect going to go around the grid? No, I don't think it is, actually, because this... Presumably, this could be... Actually, no, it couldn't be a four as well. I was going to say maybe it could be a four as well. This... Actually, it couldn't even be a five. Okay, so this digit is six, seven, eight, or nine. How do I know it's not four or five? Well, if it was four... The highest this can be is 6, and it would need a 10 here. If it was 5, again, the highest this could be is 6, and that would need a 9 here, which is a valid Sudoku digit, but ruled out by that 9. So 6 is the minimum. I don't know. I suppose that makes the... Well, it's the 9 that makes the maximum here a 5 which is hardly interesting in an 11 cage. Uh, maybe there's some... Right, this is a 10 cage. This nine digit in a 19 cage. Oh, oh, it's taken me a long time to spot this. Sorry, one and two have been used up here. So this has to be at least three. Yes, this has to be at least three. These have to be at least a one, two pair. Um, and I think that's one degree of freedom from the maximum digit this can be. The maximum digit in a 10 cage is a 7. So if that was a 7, and this was 1, 2, and that was 3, which had up to 6, there's one degree of freedom. So we can either increase one of these by 1, which means that can be 3 or 4. This can be a 1, 2 pair or a 1, 3 pair, but always includes a 1. And that or, or we can increase, or we can reduce this by one from seven to six is what I was going to conclude that thought with. Ah, so we get a three or a four in the 19 cage. These two have to add up to 15 or 16. Ah, and this can't be a six and that can't be a six for the reasons we figured earlier. There are seven, eight, nine combo and they add up to 15 or 16. They must include a seven. That's very weird. Normally you get two cells that have to be seven, eight or nine and you can write in that one of them is a nine, but this is the other way around. Uh, it's either a seven, eight or a seven, nine pair. And then now down here in the 10 cage, we either have one, two or one, three, definitely including a one. That's a bit more normal. So now this isn't a one. And that means the one on this little arrow is here and we get a digit in the grid. Uh, it doesn't tell us what this is yet. This is 1, 2, or 1, 3. Now, what's this doing on this arrow to the 11 cage? Not a whole diddly lot. Um, oh, hang on. That's a 1, 2, 3 triple in the column. So this has to be at least 4. Now that's getting interesting. 1, 4... And yeah, this is, this can't be a four itself. That would be, oh, well, this can't be a nine in the 11 cage. Eight is the maximum it can be. And this is at least a four. So I'm not putting, I can't put six as a possibility here because of that six. If I was to put five, with that being at least four, it's impossible. So this is eight or seven. This is at least four. Actually, though, yeah, I'm not this time. I'm not going to forget. Oh, I was, I was going to not forget the possibility of those both being ones. But actually, that one says that this is a two or a three. Yeah, we've got one degree of freedom here. The minimum here is two, four, one. And the maximum there is eight. So again, there's one degree of freedom on those items, if I've interpreted that correctly. I'm not 100% sure I have, but I think so. Now, what else does this do? This is, I oh, that can't be a three because of this. So if it's six, one, three. Ah, if it's six, one, three, that's a two and that makes this a three. If it's seven with a one, two pair, that makes this a three, and that's a three again to make the six or seven total work. Oh, that's really nifty. Yeah, let's just check that. If this is a six, we have 
one three to fill this cage, making this a two. With a six there and a two there, this becomes three. If that's a seven instead, then we have one two here, that becomes three, and still this is three. So that is definitely a three. These now add up to 16, so there are seven nine there. Ah, one and three can't be here. So this is two or four. I'm not going higher than that because the minimum digit here is a five. And if that was a, sorry, is a four. And if that was a five, they'd add up to at least 10 on the arrow. So now that is seven or nine. This is two or four, six. The most this can be is three, I reckon. Nine, two, three, four, yeah. Oh, and six now has turned up in one of those cells. These are from four, five, eight, because of this six looking up. Now, what's going on in the 20 cage? This can't be a nine because of that, but the minimum it can be, if that was six and nine, is a five. So not much helpful there. Ah, right, of course, I haven't looked at this. Seven or eight in this cage makes this again a one, three or a one, two pair, which definitely includes a one. Now, can we pull the same trick again with this two? If that is a seven, so this is one, three, that becomes a two, and then we go four, one. If that's an eight, that becomes a three. If that's an eight, you get two one here. That becomes a three. And again, you get four one. So this time we get two digits that way. We get to fill in four and one, two there, three there. Now we are getting some things done. We've got a seven here. We don't know how that resolves or indeed this pair, but they gave us this whole group. Um, that seven is made up of three one three, yes. And that hasn't really affected anything looking across the grid. Ah, ah, but this 11 cage now can't have a one in it. So it must have a two in it. The two is not there because of that. So one of these is a two. It's either two, four, five, which would require a four here, or two, three, six. And that would have to be the two in a two, three, six. Oh, bother with three or six there. So uh, that didn't go as far as I'd hoped, but. Oh, and we got a one, two, three triple again in the row. So this one is at least four. Let's make it four, five. Ah, this time I get to not forget the possibility of two ones on the arrow, which is annoying because it didn't restrict this as much as I was hoping. Maybe this 20 cage is more powerful than I've realized. If that's a four. Oh, this can't be a three. That's changed lately. Four, one, four makes, no, I was sorry, I was looking at the 20 cage. If that's a four, seven, nine. If that's a five, um, well, it could be six, nine, or a seven, eight pair. That's very annoying. If that's a six, it has to go five, nine. Uh. One, two, three. Oh, why is this the only one of the inner cages that's numbered? It'd be quite useful to know the totals of the others, wouldn't it? Oh, we can't, they've got four there, so I can take four out of those cells. So if it's four, Four, two, five. Yeah, I don't think anything's changed. Um, do I go for this or do I look more at these? I'm not really sure. Let's see. This is at least a four, but these can both be ones. So that hasn't really changed. Oh, well, maybe this is maximized now. You couldn't have a four here because you'd need a sort of another, because you couldn't have another four here. So four and five is already nine. That'll blow that. So four, 
four. Well, I mean, there's a four there as well. But anyway, this is one, two, or three. Oh, it's not two because we've got two in one of those cells. Ah, so this. Well, no, I was going to say it's a one, three pair, but it's obviously not. It can't be two threes. One of these at least must be a one. So it's either a pair of ones making two or a one and a three making four. So this is always going to be the same parity as this. I don't think this can be seven anymore. Yes, it can. One, five, one. So shut up. Right. Um, OK, what about this? It can't be nine, two, three or six by Sudoku. It can't be one by just simple arrow logic. Four, five, seven or eight. Now, if it was four, it can't be four because that can't be one or three and that can't be, well, neither of those can be two. Can it be five? Two, no. No, it can't be five because this is three or four and this, this can't be one, two or three, I've just spotted. So that's not five. Ah, so it is getting narrowed down now. Um, and this can't be one, two, or three. It can't be six because the minimum this can be is three. So that is four or five. This can't be six anymore. So if this is a four, two, five cage, it's got the four here. If it's a three, two, six cage, it's got the three here. So three is not here. These are from, these are two, five or two, six in one order or the other. What about over this side? This can't be two or three. And this can't be three either. So it's not a three, five or three, four combo. If it's two, five, it's that way around. If it's two, six, it's the same way around. But it could be one, six or one, seven. And, oh, well, if it's one seven, it's that way around. But if it's one six, it could be either way around. So there's actually quite a few possibilities there. I don't, um, there may have been a more methodical way of thinking about that that I didn't come up with, but there we go. That sometimes happens. Now we've got this one, two, three triple. What's that doing? Seven puts a two here. One through, uh, it doesn't really do anything. I think I've looked at what that does for us already. Um, ah, I'm missing the next step now. I don't know what, there's a three up there in one of those two. Looking at this 20 cage again. No, I don't know. Um, right, so two is in one of those and in one of those cells. So that's a kind of X wing on rows seven and eight. Two in row nine must be over in this box. Oh, maybe I need to think about this. Six, one, two, nine. Five. Oh, five doesn't work here. Five, one, that can't be a three. Five, two, that can't be another two then. That's not a five. So now there's a parity thing. Those two are even, but the total is odd. So that must be odd. So that's a one. So that's a three. Good Lord, that's really clever. And this can't be a three now. This has to be a one. I remember these couldn't both be threes or the total would be 10 on the arrow. This can't be one. Um, this can't be seven or six now. And this is eight or nine. And are they dependent on each other? Hmm. 
Not quite. If that's a four, that's a four. That's a five. This is nine. And that would be seven. That's not actually all that helpful. Um, yeah, I don't quite. Oh, this can't be one anymore. How about that? Oh, so the one in the middle row is fixed now. It's got to be there. That gives us a one somewhere down here. One in the central column is actually resolved. Oh, so this can't be one either, obviously, given those two ones. What do we get? Another one. We're still left with an X. Sorry, I'm trying to depict an X wing on ones in the bottom in rows seven and nine. Now, this is two or six. This can't be seven anymore. I don't think this can be six if this can't be one, two, or three. No way. So that's a two. That's done. Um, and that's a four now. Right. Now we get a four, one, four makes nine. Now we're moving again. Surely this is going to get us unstuck. Um, that four needs a seven and nine in its cage. That nine makes this a five. We've got two, three, Pair. I still don't know how that's going to resolve this. Um, oh, this can't be a seven anymore. So that's eight with a six, two there. Hang on, this could be four, four. That is four or five as well. This can't be six, so we can place six in box one. They can't be eight. So we can place eight. That is two or three. So this is where nine goes in the central column. Um, eight, oh, it's in one of those two. I thought we were gonna get that and we're not. Six, six, two, three. Sorry if you're spotting something. Three's in one of those two in box eight. Ah, this can't be six because of this otherwise useless cage, which has no total. But now it is useful. That can't be six. That can't be six. Six is in one of these two cells. Oh, bother. But it can still be in one of those two in box, <coughs> in box seven, I suppose. Seven, nine, four. Yeah, that's not resolved. This, however, one, four, seven, nine, three, five, and it can't be two because there's a two, three pair in the row. That's six or eight. Six, three, that's seven or nine. There's an awful lot of cells coming down to two possibilities now. I'm sorry, you're probably seeing something very clear that, that, I'm not spotting yet. Well, that's just the way it goes sometimes. That is five or seven. That's three or five. There's loads of these cells. This is so clever. Oh, look, nine in the central box can't be anywhere there. So it's done. That's not actually going to help anything. There's been four nines pointing at that for ages. Um, <clears throat> pardon my cough. One, five, two, three. Oh, what's happening now? Come on. Seven, nine, one, two, four. It also can't be six. There's a lot of possibilities left after that. That's not one of the more helpful. Five has to be in one of these two. I've just spotted. So then in one of those two. Do I, maybe I know what this is and I just can't see why I know what it is. Four, five, two. I can't be four, five, two. If two was there, no, hang on. What I'm saying is this cannot be a four. Oh no, I've said, for some reason I've written this as five or six, but this could be a two. So that's bad pencil marking. So it could go four, two, five. Three, sorry, four, two, five would leave three, five, four. Wow, it could. 
There must be a four in one of those because that's either a four, four pair or if that's a five, that's a four. So one of those is a four, which gives us four in one of those. That's forming a sort of X wing again. Wow, three, seven, two, one, four, five. That is six, eight or nine. Gosh, I'm really not picking up something now. Ah, come on, Mark, think about it. They can't be nine. Not interesting. Or three, actually. So they're from six, seven, and eight, and the top one can't be seven. Three, three, that's a three. If that clears it all up and I just haven't spotted it, that'll be very irritating indeed. That's seven, eight or nine. So one of those is a six. Don't think that solves the whole puzzle at all. It must be something going on around here, mustn't it? Two, nine, eight, six, one. Um... I'm also tempted by sixes. I think there's something happening with sixes. Only two positions. No, that's not quite true in row eight. Um, oh, this is irritating me now. Six, one. I have a feeling this is the sort of place nobody else is getting stuck, only me. Um, I cannot see what to do with those two. They must be reserved. Maybe if that was a five and that was a three, maybe that's a problem. Then you'd get... Yeah. No, I was going to say that would make this a two which makes this a three, but that's fine. This can still be a two. So if that's a three, we must have six two here. I want to do some coloring or something, but I don't even see how that's gonna work. If those are both fours, we get a four here. Oh, what's going on in this bottom box? If that's a one, Sorry, that's obviously a one, one, nine, six. If that's a seven, then we get three here, five, two, eight, and four. But if this is an eight, it's eight, two, one, five, nine, seven, six with a four there and a three there. So that is not actually that helpful at all. Four is in the bottom row. Okay, place four is in one of those cells. I should have been able to see that earlier. That means four in row eight has to be there, but I don't. Oh, hang on. This is six, seven, or eight. This can't be nine. So once you get four there, you know where nine is in this row. It's here. And that fixes where six is. Remember, six is in one of those cells. So none of these can be six. I didn't remember that when marking this one. But that gives us a six here. Six in row eight. Sixes were important. I had a feeling about that. A six in one of those cells. Six in, this can't be a six. Six in column seven is there. Sixes really are important. Six there. Wow, that's weird. Um, still haven't done this seven, eight. Oh, six in this 11 cage means it's a six, three, two. Right, that is going to fix, well, I would say everything. I don't think that was that simple, actually. I really don't. I'm not. I'm not going to beat myself up too badly on that one. It was. It was a weird old mishmash. Seven nine there gives us an eight there. Um, one and seven on the edge. Oh, this is an eight. That makes this an eight. One of these is an eight. That's a six eight pair. This is a five. I mean, it's still not really flowing. This is a seven by naked singling, if that's a thing. This is a nine, so that's a seven. 
wow, this is a very clever puzzle. I love the way this all works together. Five, eight, uh, we've got two, six, nine here. Let's fully pencil mark those. Three, four. This is an eight, five pair, which can be written in. This is a one, seven pair, which can be written in. Must be able to finish the last three rows now. And surely the whole puzzle is coming together. That's three. That's a seven. Left with a four, five pair. Oh, of course, this is on the stinking arrow. Five there. Sorry to be so rude to that very pleasant arrow that was trying to help. Um, a five and a nine to go in there. I can't do them yet. This is a naked single two, and that's going to fix everything. Six, nine, two. The nine fixes five, nine. The five fixes four, five. And it also fixes eight, five. The eight fixes six, eight. The last two digits are a seven and a four. And that is an absolutely top hole puzzle. Epic. That's really good. Well done, Mark. Um, Frostini, as always, delivers a brilliant puzzle. And uh, tick tock, it is presumably 10 past eight with this hand pointing to the two and those adding up to the eight they're pointing to. How about that? But that is a lovely idea. I mean, that's a beautiful design and it's a really clever puzzle into the bargain. Absolute genius. Um, thank you, as always, for watching. Hope the sound quality is better. I'm really not relying on the fact that it's totally fixed. It's going to need monitoring every day for a while, but uh, hopefully that's better. And uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow for um, more Sudoku fun. Bye for now.